Hey, what's going on? Today we're talking about playing media files on your Mac, and in particular MP4 formats. I will share with you all there is to know about MP4 files, what they are, why they're so popular, and how to play them on your Mac, MacBook, Mac Mini, and iMac. So, MP4. A video file that we have all stumbled upon at some point, the International Standard for Audiovisual Coding released in 2003. This is a technology that is based on Apple's QuickTime MOV format. What you need to know about MP4s is that it is highly desirable because of its high degree of compression, allowing the files to be much smaller in size than other video formats. The reduced file size doesn't impact the quality of the file. This makes MP4 a portable and web-friendly video format. So, on your Mac, how do you open an MP4? One way to do that is to use Apple's default player QuickTime, which is the easiest way since it's part of the operating system. However, QuickTime has limited number of options and no fancy features. What's more, there are certain MP4 videos that might not be recognizable by QuickTime. This is often because your MP4 is in an older specialized video format that QuickTime does not support. That is why it will be better to opt for another option, which brings us to El Media Player, one of the best free players for your MacBook, iMac and any other Mac OS device for that matter, because it not only supports MP4, but it handles a ton of other media formats as well. In fact, El Media plays almost any video and audio format you throw at it, so you can imagine that it will eat MP4 files for breakfast. So let me show you El Media Player versus MP4 in action. By the way, stick till the end to find how you can snatch El Media Player Pro with a 30% discount. So first off, let's just enjoy El Media Player's awesome minimal interface. Everything is right where it's supposed to be. Full screen, elegant controls, no distractions. There are three ways to open an MP4 on a Mac. Drag the file over to El Media Player's icon on the dock, or if El Media is open, simply drop the file over the app. Option two is to right click on the MP4 file, select Open With, and choose El Media Player. Finally, you can open MP4 files directly from El Media by choosing File and clicking on Open. Afterward, all you have to do is navigate to the file's location. El Media is not just an awesome player that supports all sorts of video files. It has cool functionalities that can improve your watching experience as well. Let's say you have multiple subtitle tracks. Unlike the default Mac player, El Media can show all of them and you can switch between them as you see fit. It supports all sorts of different languages, even those that read right to the left, like Hebrew and Arabic. No subtitle track on the file? Not a problem. El Media supports external subtitles from opensubtitles.org and it's simple as going to the subtitles menu, subtitle track and hover over open subtitles submenu. From there, you can just select the subtitles you'd want to use. In case you're wondering, El Media doesn't even download them on your computer. It just uses magic to display them. To impress you even more, I'll just say that El Media can auto download subtitles for you. If some subtitles require timing adjustment, you can do that as well. What about changing fonts or subtitle colors? Sure, why not? Just go to El Media's preferences window and knock yourself out. El Media Player even offers the possibility to add external soundtracks to any of your videos so you can watch a movie in a different language or even with a more suitable dubbing. I almost forgot one of my favorite El Media options, streaming. El Media can stream your local files, including MP4s, to your smart TVs no matter what you have – Roku, Samsung, LG, or anything else. It even supports Apple TV with no additional codecs and I just couldn't be happier. If I have guests, for example, and I want to create a party video playlist, I can do that and just cast it from the Mac to the TV or Chromecast. Let me show you another unique El Media Player feature that I'm sure will make you smile. Let's say I have a favorite moment of a movie or perhaps a song that I just can't get enough of. I choose any part of my MP4 or another video file to play in an interrupted loop for as long as I need it. I can even take a screenshot of a precise moment and have El Media create a high-res TIFF file ready for me to share. I mean, how cool is that? The third solution to play MP4 files on a Mac is to use VLC. Let's take a closer look at VLC. First off, it's open source. Also, it is great when it comes to features and means of video control. 
Just as El Media Player, it is capable of opening not only MP4 files, but pretty much all other popular formats, which automatically makes it a good choice and a popular solution. What I don't particularly like about it is the interface, which is kind of complicated and difficult to work with, especially for beginners. The fact that it's open source doesn't really allow it to evolve when it comes to aesthetics, and let's be honest, it looks a bit dated. Like I promised, be sure to use the following coupon code to snatch El Media Player Pro with a huge 30% discount. So write me what video player do you use and why does it appeal to you? If you have any questions or concerns, please leave your comments below and I'll do my best to get back to all of you. Don't forget to share this video and your thoughts about it on social media. Thanks for watching.